Hello everyone, this is Dr. Zaidi. Welcome to my YouTube channel, ZTube. In this video, I'm going to discuss the differences between the traditional format income statement and the contribution margin format income statement. So the traditional format income statement is required by GAAP. So it distinguishes between your product cost and a period cost. Product cost is the cost to manufacture a product, which is direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. And then a period cost is selling and administrative expenses. It is used for financial reporting purposes. As I said, that gap requires that. So you have to uh, prepare a traditional margin uh, format income statement so you can prepare your financial uh, statements. So this is for external users, like uh, bankers or the lenders or uh, you know, stockholders, the stakeholders and the other public who are interested in your company. So this is for financial reporting purposes. Whereas the contribution margin format income statement is used for internal reporting purposes. It is used for managers. The gap doesn't require it. If you want to prepare, you can prepare. It helps you in making decisions, whether it's a short-term decision or a long-term decision but it is for internal reporting purposes. In, in the contribution margin format uh, statement, we distinguish uh, variable cost and fixed cost. So we accumulate all variable costs together, whether it's uh, the manufacturing cost or non-manufacturing cost, and we gather all fixed costs together, whether it's a manufacturing cost or non-manufacturing cost, which can be seen in the income statement coming up now. So on the left-hand side, is the traditional format income statement, which is sales minus cost of goods sold is gross profit, gross profit and minus operating expenses is your operating income. On the right hand side is a contribution margin format income statement, which is sales minus variable cost of goods sold is manufacturing margin minus variable operating expenses is your contribution margin minus fixed cost is your operating income. So this is the expend, expended form. If you want to condense it, then you can do just sales minus variable cost as contribution margin. So you can escape the manufacturing margin step. You can combine variable cost of goods sold and variable operating expenses together. So sales minus variable cost will give you contribution margin. Okay, so how it differs uh, from the traditional margin format income statement. So as you can see, the cost of goods sold in a traditional margin um, uh, format income statement has a variable component, which is variable cost of goods sold, and it has a fixed component, which is fixed cost of goods sold. All right. So in a traditional margin uh, format income statement, we don't uh, separate out variable and fixed cost. If it's manufacturing cost, we are going to combine them together. So variable cost of goods sold is your basically variable manufacturing cost. And fixed cost of goods sold is your fixed manufacturing cost, which is a fixed manufacturing overhead. Okay, so in a variable manufacturing cost, we have direct material, direct labor, and variable manufacturing overhead. Why does manuf variable manufacturing overhead cost? Because if you produce more and more units, and if you sell more and more units, right, because the cost of goods sold, you're going to incur more cost. So the more material we are going to use, the more is going to be cost. So that's direct material is variable. The more labor you're going to use, the more is going to be cost right? The more variable overhead you're going to incur, like utilities, electricity, then more is going to be your cost. So this is all variable. It's, that's why it's known as variable manufacturing cost. And then we have a fixed manufacturing cost, which is the fixed factory overhead, such as uh, the factory depreciation, the depreciation on factory equipment, the supervisor salary of the factory, security guard salary of the factory or anything that is related to the factory, which is fixed, is going to be considered as a fixed factory overhead. So GAP requires that all manufacturing related costs should be combined together. So we put them together and we come up with the cost of goods sold with all the manufacturing costs, whether it's a variable and fixed. However, in a contribution margin format, we separate out all variable components and all fixed components, okay? So in traditional margin format statement, if you see operating expenses, we have both variable operating expenses and fixed operating expenses. The example of variable operating expenses would be sales commission. The more sales you have to make, 
the more sales you're going to make, the more commission you're going to get, right? And if you're an employer, the more sales a salesperson is going to make, the more you have to pay. So it's a variable operating expenses. So, uh, and fixed operating expenses could be uh, the administrative salaries, the president's salaries, right? The, um, the head office rent. So that can, that can be the fixed operating expenses. So variable and fixed operating expenses are combined together. So in the traditional format income statement, we put all manufacturing costs together, right? Which is variable manufacturing cost plus fixed manufacturing cost and all the operating expenses together, which is variable operating expenses and fixed operating expenses. So they are mixed together. Whereas contribution margin says that you have to separate out variable and fixed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take variable operating expenses and variable cost of goods sold or manufacturing cost, and we're going to put them together and we're going to put fixed fact over operating expenses and fixed cost of goods sold or fixed manufacturing cost together in the contribution margin format income statement. So as you can see here, uh, we have sales minus variable cost of goods sold. So variable cost is same direct material, direct labor and variable manufacturing overhead, which you can see here as well. And then we have variable operating expenses that's coming from operating expenses in traditional format, right? So we have variable operating expenses. So when we subtract both variable cost of goods sold and variable operating expenses, we get contribution margin, CM is contribution margin. Then we subtract fixed cost. So the fixed cost here is both fixed manufacturing overhead and fixed operating expenses. So even though traditional format suggests that the fixed manufacturing overhead cost is a product cost, we are going to put it in a fix because it's a fixed in nature. So we combine fixed manufacturing overhead and fixed operating expenses as a total fixed cost and we subtract it, we get the operating income. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for live updates.